My name is Steven Schlissel, and I will be guest hosting for you this evening. Clark got caught in a time warp. Our band this evening, the Jim Gilmore Band, hails from Middletown Springs, where they also run a successful recording studio, Southview Arts. First, we have to mention our sponsor of the evening, Manchester Bar and Grill. But without further ado, here's the Jim Gilmore Band. <laughs> to find in a state song about touring. This next one was written at my kitchen table at about four o'clock in the morning after a very long night. It's called Can't Lie.
will it show what's been sown?
Thank you. So this next tune's called Flat World. It's the title disc, uh, title song off of our disc. Flatwood. <laughs> So um, this has this been really special at, uh, at Nat TV. Is that how you say that? Nat TV? G Nat. 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 I'm from the floor director, I'm getting. So I must be doing it right. Special folks here doing a good thing, so thanks. <laughs> How do you explain to a young one the ways of the world? How do you take them to the path but not lead them? Because maybe they are smarter than yourself, smarter than you ever dreamed of. How do you explain it to yourself? that you can I walk to the edge of this very very flat world that's what a girl once told me at a party somewhere in Memphis sitting at our sign table with the white linen I stained that night I said I'd have a brandy Manhattan In her ways of the world Waving her hands wide With a big old smile She told me this to be true See the world's been proven She said To be flatter than a pancake And why was I to doubt her She seemed to know What she was talking about The best that you can She told me the ways of the world Well, she told me the ways of her world She told me about the people The lies and the truths And the damage there within I don't know now Just some words on a page I always wonder where it goes Who it sees and who it knows She's looking for a confrontation, a consultation, or just a comfort station. Do the best that you can. Do the best that you can. I'm gonna walk to the edge of this very, very flat world. One day I'm gonna lay my head down and I'll just creep it on over the edge. But you see, I'm afraid of heights sometimes, and I don't know how far it'll be. Looking out over the edge of this very, very flat world. Do the best that you can Do the best that you can Do the best that you can How to explain to a young one The ways of the world How do you take them to the path 
Okay, that was an incredible first set. We're here with Jim, Ryan, and Paul to talk, amongst other things, about their new album. The emails have been coming in all day. I've been here at the TV station. We have got the top four questions to ask. Well, as Clark always asks the bands that play, I have to know, where did you get the name the Jim Gilmore Band? I don't know. I think Ryan came up with it. Sure. I did, actually. No, I think I did. Really? Actually, you're right. Yeah, you're right. I was pretty sure it was me. We talked about coming up with some other fancy name, but then uh, you know, I wasn't sure if they were going to stick around, so I decided just to go with the Jim Gilmore Band. Okay. Now, question number three, we go from four to one, oh. is okay. there's a story about the Pointer Sisters that has to be told here. <laughs> Uh, and I'm not going to tell. Oh, oh, okay. I thought you had a, a good lead-in, but uh, well, I worked in a, in a recording studio um, a long time ago out in Los Angeles, and uh, Richard Perry was the uh, was the producer for the Pointer Sisters, and uh, he was very particular about his food. So, when you start out working in recording studios, you start out as a runner, and uh, so that means mostly that you run and, and get food uh, for the artists. I came back with the wrong kind of rice on my first day and quickly learned the difference between white rice, brown rice, and basmati rice, which was the preferred rice of the day. So, uh, you it, should have known. I should have <laughs> known, and, and I did after that. So. OK. Well, question number two, our in Texarkana. Hmm. Please tell us about that. Seems like an important work. <laughs> well, it's, uh, it's a tune written by a, a good uh, friend of mine, uh, Don Conseni. Uh, on our first record, uh, Quarter Lime. Um, and, and the great thing about that, that, that story is that we were touring, I forget where we were, in Ohio? In Ohio. And uh, yep. Dayton. Outside of Dayton. Mm -hmm. We were driving uh, in the bus, driving and driving and driving, trying to find a place to park because we were going with some crazy routing, eight, ten hours between the gigs. So it's the middle of the night, we're trying to find a place to park, to pull over and park, and all the truck stops are full. They're all full. Keep driving by, driving by. And so uh, Paul's driving, pull off on a, just on a side road, we find a, a nice open parking lot with no cars in it. And uh, there was a sign that said no overnight parking, but we just ignored that <laughs> until uh, thump, thump, thump on the bus door. There was uh, somebody knocking at the door. We all laid in the bunks and pretended to ignore it until the siren went off. Then we decided we ought to get out of bed. A uh, young, young lady cop, about uh, five foot nothing tall, um, asked to see all our driver's licenses and made sure the bus was ours. And, and uh, uh, she decided that she would let us go, and, and uh, uh, we just had to leave from that, that uh, spot. I tried to give her the, the, the quarter line CD, which has uh, the two an hour in Texarkana on it, uh. and uh, she wouldn't take it. She said, well, that would be con construed as a bribe, but if, if she found it on the ground, she could she could take it, so <laughs> put it down on the ground, and she took it. And as, as, uh, as uh, we drove away in the bus and she followed us out, I, I always wondered what she thought of the tune Hour in Texarkana. So you'll, you'll have to listen to it, the, the tune to, to get why I would be concerned about how she would take it. But, OK. Uh, well, question number one for most of the emails, they wanted to know about your new CD, Flatwood. If you could tell us uh, a little bit about it, I understand it's just come out this year. Flatwood, is that a joke? <laughs> hey. It's called Flat World. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> it, uh, I've read it four times as Flatwood. Oh, it's good. It's good. <laughs> Actually, that, maybe we should change the title of that. Is to Flatwood? Yeah, is, Flatwood? Is there a song Flatwood on the album? No, there's a song Flatworld on there. But, well, there you go. Um, kind of cool. Yeah, kinda, yeah. yeah I'm, I'm real excited about this record coming out. It's, uh, it's been a long time coming and um, uh, so and we all play on it and uh, we have some other special guests that play on it as well but um, Flat World is one of the tunes and it's uh, sort of a, a story about uh, you know those people who who are sure they have all the answers and uh, so but she uh, she does have a way of bringing it to, together in the end. I hope you sure it's it. not flat wood? No, but it should be. It should be flat wood. And are you going to be playing anything uh, in the second set from this album? We will. We will. I have no idea yet which ones we'll play, but okay. we'll make sure they're off of the album. Well, yeah. I think uh, we would, should get back to the music because people don't want to hear me, and I, 
they probably had about enough for you at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Thank Steve. you, gentlemen, and we're looking forward to the second set. Thank you. I appreciate it. golf one last time one more time going down deep as a diver must do I promised it to my last time a pretty green dress with your hair all up tight it's a picture that I'll be engraved to my grave I'm not traveling to be gone this time, Lord, I feel I'm bringing it home. But the kids, they're growing old without me there, forever in her care. But how am I supposed to give up all that's me? Am I to leave and wait? Rachel learned to walk yesterday It was a sight how I wished I could see I learned it in a letter written by her mom's hand Late night, fifteen days ago The kids are growing old without you there Forever in my Thinking that it's not all you are, at least to me. Can't you be here by my side? Oh, I want you here by my side. the bags through with the tears he isn't coming home a third one on the way she'll head north she's got some family there and the kids they'll all grow old without him there forever in her care and he'll Times are growing old each day. He's forever way down First disc, Cordelines. This is a tune uh, called Hometown. It's a uh,
it started out as autobiographical and then that, that turned out to be too boring so I had to put some other facts in there. Still kind of boring actually, but. I mean, there's no car crashes or anything, so. that meal, huh? Tonight was great. <laughs> Who provided us that meal again? Who's our sponsor tonight? Manchester Bar and Grill, right? Yeah. Thank you, Manchester Bar and Grill. Thanks very much for the Nat TV and all the fine folks here for the Jim Gilmore Band. We'll, uh, we'll see you around the bend.
It's a vicious cycle, lock and key. They'll keep knocking at your door until we turn them down. It's a vicious cycle, and I'm lost in this hole. There's only one man who can help me now, and Lord, I stand down, because I am. Time. Somebody has got to help me. I am living on borrowed time. Somebody got to help me. Lord, help me now, I'm gonna get out From this self-imposed prison walls around Well, I can see my way, clear most days But sometimes it seems the only way out is sky up above Cause I am, I am living on by wrong time Somebody got to help me I am living on by wrong time Somebody got to help me I learned to help myself Oh, Lord, I see them They're gonna take it all away from me Oh, Lord, I feel them They're gonna take it Well, even in my sleep I'm not telling this tale to be told I got many years to go before I'm free But if I can't stop even one from following me I step on into this hole where the walls keep closing on in Cause I am, I am living on borrowed time Somebody got to help me Time. Somebody got to help me. I learned to help myself. Learned to help myself. Thank you very much. Wow, that was a great set. Uh, before we leave the Black Fly Lounge tonight, we have to thank the Jim Gilmore Band and introduce our house band, Beyond Further, who will do their carefully pronounced tune, Just One Funk. Thank you from Nat TV. Keep on watching, and we will see you next time. I'm